Hey, Bones, good to see you and congratulations. Um, can you just take us through the emotions of tonight and kind of, you're obviously hyped, you're obviously excited. Uh, what's going on in your head and what was going through your head uh, as the draft was snaking toward Denver? Oh my gosh, I ain't even gonna lie. Like when the, when the board kept, you know, I wasn't getting picked. You know, I wasn't worried. I wasn't, you know, losing faith in myself, no nothing. I just know like one of these teams are gonna get a, you know, a, a star you know, a hard worker, you know, all of the above. And I know like the Denver Nuggets, you know, their staff, you know, the fact that they took me, you know, they did some great film, you know, just 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 all of the above, honestly. I, I really appreciate everything that, you know, that, that just went on, honestly. Harris Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Bones, congrats. You're, you're joining a really good team, a contender, alongside guys like Nicole Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr. How do you envision fitting in next to those guys? It's an up and down, you know, type. Uh, offense, you know, played through Nikola uh, Jokic, you know, playing off of him, you know, it, he, he draws a lot of attention. I'm a knockdown shooter. I draw so much attention. You know, I can be a playmaker as well. Michael Porter Jr., you know, he's a, a, a great, you know, small four who can basically do everything, honestly. You know, Jamal Murray coming back, I see us being, you know, a dominant one-two, you know, and then down the line, honestly, you know, from the bench players, you know, me, honestly, bench, everything. I, I just see us taking off for sure. We'd be a problem. Josh Dover, Altitude Sports. Oh, go ahead and unmute there, Josh. Oh, my bad. There we go, Bones. Congratulations, man. Welcome to Denver. I got two for you real quick. Uh, yep. I know the, 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 the frame, the body is where you get the bones, but I was just reading about you. Busy Bones was where it started. Are yeah. you aware of uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony? Say that one more time. Say the last part. Are, are you aware of Bone Thugs and Harmony? Oh yeah, for sure. Yes, for sure. I am. But I feel like I'm the real Bones though. Oh, uh, due to respect the Bones Thug and Harmony though, but I feel like I'm the real Bones though, honestly. Michael Kelly, Associated Press. Uh, congratulations, Bones. Uh, based on uh, workouts and things, where did you project yourself going? Uh, You know, 14 to 23 range, honestly, but I'm blessed to you know be taken by the Nuggets at 20, uh, 27, 26, 26. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey Bones, congratulations. I just saw you, you led the nation last year in points in transition and obviously you're, you're a strong shooter, but um, to, the, to the transition offense, is that, is that something you feel like you'll be able to, to kind of carry over to the NBA? Yes, uh, huge, honestly. My transition offense, I thrive in it. Honestly, I feel like I'm very unguardable in transition. Uh, I draw so much attention. And, you know, I, I can just play off of that. But I, transition offense is very fun. You know, I, I use that to my advantage because I can shoot from anywhere. So, uh, you know, I, I, it would be definitely, you know, fun just playing with the guys in transition for sure, getting up and down. Nuggets.com. Hey, Bones. I, I was just curious how your conversation with – Coach Malone and Tim went after you were drafted. And number two, for Nuggets fans, what is Trizzy? Tracy. Tracy, sorry. Yeah, Tracy <laughs> stands for it's a, it's, it's, it stands for the three point three pointer. You know, I always could shoot the ball at a young age. Uh, I made it up with you know Uno Dos Trash, you know the Spanish uh, uh numeral uh, uh basically the numbers the numeral numbers honestly. And then I'm like now I'm gonna add two S's in the I next to it, and I'm you know, coming with Tracy and I'm make my own thing. And uh, it's just from ever since then, it's just like, you know, everybody's been loving it. Uh, I expanded it, you know, with uh, fellow friends. And it's just been like a worldwide trend now. Everybody loves Screaming Tracy. And it's just like, it, it's just uh, it's a crazy movement. We'll go back to Mike Singer with the Denver Post. Hey, Bones. Uh, I read that you rapped for some of the teams in the interviews. Uh, a, did you do that with the Nuggets? And B, if not, or if so, how did the interview with the Nuggets go? <laughs> honestly, I, I would say Nuggets is probably my favorite one, though, honestly, because I, I, I actually rapped, you know, I rapped in there. And uh, I just felt a different type of vibe with them coaches and, and the staff that was in there. It's like they knew they were drafting me, honestly, when I went in there for an interview. It was just like, wow, like, I felt like I belong with them. I felt like I'm going to get along with them, you know. And every, every, every interview – Every I, it was just the whole staff there. I just felt love for them. I'm like, wow, like you know, just feeling that love from the NBA team. It's like, wow, that's like a dream come true as well. Like you know, a team that love you, they ain't even picked you yet. So I'm like, yeah, that, I, I I see myself going there for sure. 
Like I didn't see myself, I didn't see myself uh, passing up, you know, to uh, basically Denver passing up on me. I knew Denver was going to take me though. And then, uh, and then just to follow up, I, I also read that you feel like you didn't necessarily get to prove yourself because of what happened at the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, so, so what did you prove in the draft process? And do you feel like you have a lot more to show? Yeah, a whole lot more, honestly. You know, if I had to play, you know, in uh, March Madness and, you know, March Madness for two years or just all of the above, honestly, I thought I had so much more to prove. But, you know, everything happened for a reason. You know, I'm glad to be here, you know, but if, if, if everything, you know, went how it should, should have went, I would probably have been, you know, top 10 pick for sure. But, you know, I'm glad I'm with the Nuggets, you know. I don't care about nothing else. Nuggets, baby, I'm here. We'll go back to Josh for Altitude Sports. Uh, hey, hey, Bones, uh, I wanted to ask you, we see all these draft analysis and everything, and they're, they're comparing players to current NBA players. Who do you mold your game after, and who would you compare yourself to? Uh, you know, I don't really compare myself to nobody. You know, I don't like to mold my, myself, my game after nobody as well. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm very unique in my own way. But, you know, it's a lot of people, you know, draft analysts, you know, they compare me to, you know, quickly, uh, Jamal Crawford, John Morant. Uh, a lot of people say Trey Young as well, just from doing everything. But, you know, I, I see to myself, I feel like I'm, 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 I'm very unique. I'm not like no other. Uh, no, I'm just Bones Island, honestly. Mike Singh, Denver Post. Hey, Bones. Uh, the Nuggets, and specifically Tim, love drafting guys with chips on their shoulders. Um, can you uh, describe, the, you know, the, the log, I'm assuming, that's on your shoulder? Uh, I've been playing with a chip on my shoulder, you know, my whole life. I've been, you know, very underrated. I was under the radar my whole life, and I'm just like, you know, every team that passed up on me will make a play for sure. Every single last one of them. And, you know, the, the Nuggets is full of underdogs, you know. Majority of the whole team is, you know, someone's taken late, you know, but you can just tell they play with that different level of, uh, you know, that chip on their shoulder. I know I'm going to fit in with them right away. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. To follow up on that, Bones, you said during that pre-draft interview you felt like you kind of belonged with the Nuggets. Is that why you felt like you belong with them? Because a lot of people have a chip on their shoulder. Or why do you feel that connection with this team? Uh, you know, just the love from uh, the coaches that they showed me. As soon as I walked into the interview, it was like, you know, I walked in I, I walked in with, you know, a bundle of joy, but they, they you know, showed the same level of joy back to me. I'm just like, okay, um, I'm feeling them. You know, I, I like this staff. You know, I, I see myself going there for sure. So, no, it was, it was a great interview. It was one of the interviews I didn't want to leave because, you know, I, I was enjoying those conversations from, you know, the whole staff. I'm just like, you know, I, I, I like them for sure. All right. I think that'll do it. Thanks for taking the time and congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it.